I was watching stand up of this black guy. I forget his name, but he's That's on SNL. McDonald, dude. And he was fucking talking about like growing up in poverty, like growing up in the projects yeah. and like hearing the laughter. He was like, dude, I'm fuck. I could, I get, I could tell what he was thinking. He's like, dude, I'm explaining like my poverty to this, to these white people. And they're all white because this show is expensive to get into, you know? So like, they're like, and I was like, dude, like, he's like, wow. I, I feel like he felt like a showcase, like a fucking, uh, well, that's what, what's your name was saying, bro. Her, no name. Her. What's, what's, what's the old girl? Who's no name. About? Yeah. 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 Yeah, who else said that? Uh, Childish Gambino said something like that too. I mean, it makes sense. Like all the like popular, like in the past, as like, especially like as black people in like forties and fifties and stuff. You like the only way to kind of get popular at fame slash. I don't even know if you get that much money, but was like through entertainment. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure that has more roots in like the the weird. Uh, blackface whatever you call that like the minstrel show stuff yeah like, but uh it's like it's it's weird so like how do you remedy weird. that just do more shows in neighborhoods of color but also throwing shows is like, putting on shows is expensive you know especially the bigger you are the more production you need and no one wants to work for free so it, i mean it kind of goes back to just like cultural cultural economic glass ceilings and I don't know, like, they probably don't even have the choice to choose the price of their tickets, especially, like, the less power they have. I mean, J. Cole can do that because he probably covers the cost. What comedian? Was a mainstream popular dude? He's the guy on, uh, he does the report on SNL. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Shay, Michael Shay. Yeah. I mean, go go do some free shows someplace that you enjoy that is with people that look like you <laughs> but like what about like music where it's probably more expensive to put on a show so you need expensive ticket sales to like produce it because with comedy you just need a fucking sound guy and you're yeah dead. i mean you could still do like a, I mean like a big ass concert you're saying like what if uh who's somebody who's a, like what a childish gambino it's like yeah i'm tired of performing for all these white people i want to do a show in like a big big like coachella show yeah i mean kendrick lamar does it but it, kendrick yeah. lamar has money to cover td does does their watch show every christmas and that's a big production yeah but td has money you know i mean just kind of like a macro thing. If you have a position of power and capital and then you help make businesses that then kind of with people that look like you for you. Who was it? I don't know who it was. Azalea Banks had a show or something. I could be wrong, but who it was, but she was like, all the, all the, <laughs> this is actually like racist, but she was like, all the white people go to the back and all the black people come to the front. That's what I was saying. Like, just when I said that thing of like making businesses and like, hiring black people and it's still kind of like weird like i'm only hiring my race yeah i guess in the in the context of like yo i can't do entertainment shows that are high production high prices if there's a bunch of people that are not getting hello revenue streams then you know you got to make businesses for your your people that you want to help i suppose yeah and i also am of the mindset of like you know, even though it is like, quote unquote, discrimination. And I'm starting to feel this way more with uh, what's the when you get into college, based on like your race, like if there's someone who's like, less exceptional in school, but they'll yeah, get in because they're black. Um, I'm kind of like, yeah, even though that's quote unquote, kind of racist, I don't really care. Just like, put the black girl in over the Asian girl if you have a thousand asian kids and two black kids you know because it's kind of i mean it's kind of contextual man (laughs) like at some point you got to be a little bit like you know we we kind of have to curate our college (laughs) yeah i mean it's always it's always been curation you know because like back in the day it was 100 percent curation if you're not white you don't get in and that's kind of the 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 boom and bust of what you have now yeah